We need a revolution of climate storytelling in Hollywood that will help change the way we think and feel about the crisis. And my hope is that when they see a story that moves them, that they'll get active and they'll and they'll want to express themselves. As Dorothy said, is more than a consumer; they're a participant. We all have to drastically reshape film and television sets and recording studio practices. And that part is not a bad thing. We don't need uh, one person doing everything. We need a million people doing one thing. You can't have great mental health without a beautiful environment to live. Mm. You can't, unless our, our Mother Earth is thriving, we can't solve the mental health crisis. The genocide of indigenous folks um, worldwide, but especially here, uh, has diminished our connection with the land to the great degree. Be curious. Be curious about the environment. Be curious about the world. Be curious about everything that you're exploring and, and come back with the wealth of information. Art, with very few exceptions, is a universal language. So what other medium, what better medium to unite people across the globe defend life, to defend democracy, to defend the earth. As we are taking this leadership, we are inviting all of you to band together for this fight for our Mother Earth. And we don't hear about the real voices and the real solutions of indigenous people who are working at the forefront uh, of the fight. Everyone's in crisis mode and everyone just feels like something's off. Um, mm -hmm. I have to say that I'm blown away by the willingness of young people to participate now and to be activists. I would have never had the guts to do what you're doing. A living system that it's not a rock, it's more of a living organism. When, when I was kind of coming into the climate movement, all I saw was people talking about the data, the statistics. It was very like off-putting. It wasn't as welcoming as I, I would have liked it to be. Storytelling is how we influence each other and it's how we learn about the world around us. It's finding the audience and then finding a strategic way to use the film to support the ongoing work that the, hopefully the film is hoping to address. I saw that the stories needing to be seen and heard were not getting the attention they deserved. Culture is like the ocean that surrounds us all the time. Culture is like a wave, right? Culture is, is an ocean and we are constantly swimming. And like water, um, Culture can shift. If you want to make a difference, I think it's like I was saying before, it's like getting a bit more specific on what that difference is. What's going on, y'all? My name is Chloe Smith, and I am here on behalf of my beautiful band, Rising Appalachia. Hi, I'm Luna Lee. Hi, I'm Kalina Zanders. Hi, we're Girlful. Hey, it's Kathleen. Hey, everybody. It's Jackson, Big Wild. My name is Yair Rahman. Hey, it's me, Gabby. Anytime that you can actually attach in action or make a direct connection to what's happening right now is when I feel like you can make the biggest impact. I think we, we have to name it, it's environmental racism. I, as someone who had experienced my own sense of injustice, I never wanted to see injustice anywhere. As we begin to make this change, we are benefiting the planet, but we also have the opportunity to actually make a real difference in the lives of communities of color, lower wealth communities, and indigenous populations. So many uh, writers of color, you know, writers um, who are currently doing vlogs, doing TikTok, doing whatever, um, where they're telling the stories of their communities and it's out there. And I think it's on us to find and elevate and support that. Make sure that we're highlighting people of color, the people that are closest to the pain.